Hi, today I want to do another 10 minute program that's going to help with your rehabilitation following low back pain. So we're going to do some exercises using the high resistance band today which is a really useful piece of kit that can really help um, to strengthen the legs and strengthen the core. So, what you need to remember when you're doing these exercises is you don't, it doesn't matter if there is a little bit increased pain in the low back, but we don't want to feel um, increased pain or pins and needles into the legs as you're doing the exercises. So as we go along through this program, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna mention when we could maybe um, reduce the length of the lever uh, so you can still continue the exercise but you aren't going to cause yourself um, any increased pain down your leg. Okay, so we'll get going. We're going to start off lying on our back. And we're going to start off finding that start position for our Pilates exercises. So we're just going to be feet hip width apart. We've got our knees bent. And we're going to just find that start position with the pelvis. So gently flattening the back arching the back and finding that midpoint between the two. And then switch those deep, <coughs> those deep tummy muscles on. Just find the squashy bit a little bit down and in from those hip bones and using that pelvic floor, just tighten those muscles up so there's some gentle tone. So let's start off with our hip twist level two. So just bring those feet back together and bring the arms out to the side. And this is a lovely mobiliser for the spine. So again, breath in to prepare. Take both knees to the right, head to the left. And then all the way back over. Knees to the left, head to the right. Good. So you've got those feet stacked one on top of the other. Keeping the pelvis together. And the out breath is the movement. The in breath is the whole and the out breath is the movement all the way back over the other way. Good. So let's do one more each side. Brilliant. Okay. So then, bring those hands back down by your side. Let's have those feet hip width apart again. We're going to do our shoulder bridge. So for this one, you have the option of taking the support out from underneath your head. And you can bring the feet a little bit nearer to your bottom. Another lovely mobiliser for the low back. And also strengthens the core and strengthens the glutes. So breath in to prepare. Flatten the back. And then peel up into that shoulder bridge, opening up through those hips. Breath in to hold. And then back down. One vertebra at a time, coming back to your start position. So just having a little think about where the weight is through the feet, base of the big toe, base of the little toe and the heel. And making sure the weight is equally distributed, left to right. So you're just peeling those vertebra off, one at a time, coming back down one at a time. You may feel that they move more in a block, but as you do more of these exercises, those segments will start to free up. Lovely. So let's do two more up on the out breath. Breath into hold, back down on the in. Good. One more up on the out breath. Breath into hold, and then back down. So let's reach for that support under the head again. And we'll start off with a series of three exercises that are going to help to strengthen the glutes and work on the core. So you put the band around your foot. And you, if you can, try and make the band flat against the foot. The more feedback that you get through your foot, the more those muscles will start to work. So we've taken that leg into our tabletop position, 90 degree angle at the hip and the knee, the elbows are nice and relaxed onto the mat, shoulder and neck relaxed, and then we're just going to push away 
straighten your knee and then fold back in. So you want to work the quadriceps at the front of the leg and then you want to work the tummy muscles as you're pushing away. And then just thinking a little bit about that rib cage, gently pressing down into the mat at the back. Good. So then, let's make that one a little bit more glutes focused. Take the leg out. Take the heel down towards the floor, keeping that leg nice and straight, and then back. So at this point, you might feel a little bit of tightness or some leg pain. And if that's the case, you don't want to be taking that leg all the way to that full extension and pushing it down to the floor. If you're not feeling any of those sensations in the leg, then keep on going. And you want to really feel those glutes, those bottom muscles doing some work. Let's do one more. Lovely. Okay, so let's come back in now. And we're just going to think about our hip twist. So remember with your hip twist, you're keeping your knee and your foot in alignment. And the movement is through that hip. So you just take that knee and foot out to the side. And you're working a little bit against the resistance of the band. And the tummy is staying nice and still. So if you have that imaginary tray of drinks on your tummy, they'd still be there. Good. So again, keeping those tummy muscles working, keeping those ribs down. So we're working a little bit against the resistance of the band. So there's a bit of work going on around that hip. Let's do two more. Good. Last one. Good. So let's have an introduction now into our scissors. So our scissors is the double tabletop, so if we keep the foot on the band, we work those tummy muscles, and then we lift that other leg onto the toe into our tabletop at 90 degrees, and then back down and back up. So this is a lovely introduction to our, top, our double tabletop. We want to keep those ribs down, keep that lovely connection down through the pelvis. Good. So let's do another three. Lovely. And then bring that foot down. Okay, we're going to swap over now with the band. So take that band onto the other foot. And we'll do the other side. So you've got that lovely 90 degree angle at the hip and the knee. And we're going to start off with our one leg stretch. So the shoulders are relaxed and the elbows are resting on the mat. And then we're just pushing away, folding back in. Just being a little bit aware that we're not getting any increase in our leg pain. Good. So we're working the quadriceps at the front of the leg. So you will feel some work going on there. Then you're going to take that foot down to the floor. So as you take the foot down to the floor, you feel those glutes starting to work in the buttock. Good, so you push away, straighten the knee. Let that heel come to the floor, come back up, fold back in. Push away, heel down. Come back up, fold back in. So the key to this one is keeping the knee nice and straight. Let's do two more. Out breath as you push away. In breath as you come back. Lovely. So let's work into our hip twist now. Remember you've got the band either side of the knee, keeping the band still in the hands. And then we're just taking that knee and foot out to the side, working against a little bit of resistance. So if you glance down, the foot's obscured by the knee because you're taking those out in the same plane. Good. So we're keeping the tummy nice and still as well. That imaginary tray of drinks on your tummy. Not spilling, not falling on the carpet. Good. Let's do one more. 
Lovely. Okay, so the final one for this position is coming into that scissors. So you've got those um, ribs staying down there, that lovely connection through to the pelvis. You can come up onto the toe first, lifting that leg into that tabletop position, and then take that foot down and back up. So you want to make sure that you're keeping that lovely control through the back. Those tummy muscles are working. And it's an out breath as you come down and an in breath as you come back up. Lovely. Let's do two more. One and two. Lovely. So bring that leg down, take the band off the foot, and then let's just do a nice stretch. So we're just going to take both feet away, arms overhead, as we stretch the whole of the body. Good. So now we're coming into our side lying position. So we're going to do two exercises, our clam and our side kick. So in your side lying position, if you can, you want your underneath arm long and your towel rested on your arm and your head on your towel. You want to have your uh, shoulders, bum and feet all lined up against the back of the mat. And then you're finding that start position with the pelvis again, switching those tummy muscles on. If you can, you want a little gap under your waist, so you lengthen through that top hip. Not too much bend through the knee, because we want to fire this muscle at the back of the hip here. So, let's start with our clam. Keep the feet together. It's breath in to prepare. Lift that knee up out to the side and back down. So you're coming up on the out breath, back down on the in. Good. So feel those muscles at the back of the hip. You want to feel those muscles doing some work. You don't want to feel the work coming down the front of the thigh or down the side of the thigh, but just behind the hip bone there. Lovely. Keep on going. Let's do two more. So one last one for this position, which is called the side kick. Great one for working the glute max at the back. So we lift our leg to hip height. And you want to think about folding from the hip crease at the front. So you bring that knee forward, knee towards your chest, and then take that leg all the way back through that range of movement, keeping that knee bent. So you're coming forward. And then keep that leg nice and parallel all the way through. You don't want to arch the back, but you do want to get those big glute muscles at the back to do some work. Good work. So keep going. Keep those tummy muscles working. Keep that strength through the low back. Good. So we've got two more. Good. Last one. And then rest that leg down, give those hips a bit of a rub if you feel that those muscles have got tired. Okay, we have the other side to do. So let's take the towel to the other end of the mat. Let's bring ourselves down, arm underneath the towel, feet, bum, shoulders all lined up. Find that start position with the pelvis. And then just have a little think about that hip Lifting that hip up a little bit so there's that gap under the waist. Switching those tummy muscles on. Focus on those muscles at the back of the hip. Breath in to prepare. And then take that top knee up out to the side and back down. Keeping the pelvis nice and still. Good. So you're really thinking about those muscles at the back there. Up on the out breath. Down on the in. Out and in. Lovely. So keep going. Good. Two more. Okay, so let's do our side kick now. Our last exercise. So we're going to lift that leg to hip height. And then we're going to fold forward at that hip crease. Bring that knee forward. And then take that leg all the way back. Using those tummy muscles to stabilize the low back and use those glute muscles to bring that leg back. 
So we're looking for the out breath as you bring the knee forward and the in breath as you take the leg back. Keeping that lovely strength through the middle. Good. So as you bring that leg back, don't overextend through that low back, but see if you can get those buttock muscles working through that range of movement. We've got two more to do. Good. Last one. And then rest that leg down. Give those hips a bit of a rub. Okay, so just before we finish, let's do a couple of stretches. So just turn over onto your back. We'll do a hamstring stretch and remember again, we don't want to have any increase in our leg pain. So put your hands behind the thigh and straighten that leg up to the ceiling. Lovely. So you just should feel a stretch at the back of the hamstrings there, back of the thigh, and then back, and then swap over. So stretching that leg, Feeling a little bit of tension in the back of the thigh. Good, and then back down. And then finally, just stretching through those hips, taking that right leg across the left knee, opening through the hip, and then back. And then that left side, across the right knee, opening through that hip. And that's you done. So that's our um, next set of exercises that's going to help you rehab following an episode of low back pain. Hope you enjoyed them and if you can manage those every day for the next two weeks and then hopefully we can move on to our next set. Thanks a lot.